Good evening and welcome to this year's Senior Excellence in Academic Ceremony. Although this year's event looks a bit different, we're excited to be able to recognize our senior class accomplishments in this format. At this time, I would like to introduce our partner for this ceremony, the Harrisonville Public School Foundation, and representing the foundation is President Susan Holden. At this time, I'm pleased to recognize our Senior Excellence in Academics recipients. Excellence in Academics recognition is based on each student's yearly grade point average. They must be in the top 15% of their class for this school year. Medallions will be presented to students at a later date. Those earning the recognition for four years also earn a $500 scholarship from the foundation. This year's recipients are as follows. Jacob Allen, third year recipient. Josie Anderson, fourth year recipient. Kennedy Atkinson, first year recipient. Hunter Baker, fourth year recipient. Jaden Boyer, fourth year recipient. Garrett Brown, fourth year recipient. Trevor Campbell, fourth year recipient. Nathaniel Devinney, fourth year recipient. Elizabeth East, second year recipient. Lene Eggers, first year recipient. Hunter Ferguson, first year recipient. George Fries, fourth year recipient. Kaylin Holden, fourth year recipient. Walker Holden, fourth year recipient. Nani Justice, first year recipient. Kara Lemmer, fourth year recipient. Riley Matthew, fourth year recipient. Arison Maxwell, first year recipient. Egypt Mays, first year recipient. Selah Norman, fourth year recipient. Colleen O'Reilly, fourth year recipient. Mary O'Reilly, fourth year recipient. Hannah Reynolds, fourth year recipient. Haley Ricker, first year recipient. River Riley, third year recipient. Riley Smalley, third year recipient. James Tiemann, fourth year recipient. Catherine Truman, fourth year recipient. Jacob Ward, third year recipient. Cody Waftel, fourth year recipient. Alyssa Wilson, second year recipient. Hattie Wilson, third year recipient. The seniors named as four-year recipients had the opportunity to honor their most influential teacher and also pay it forward by selecting a school program, department, or organization to receive a $250 mini grant provided by the foundation through the new Bill Mills Leaving a Legacy program, which started last year. Here are the recipients and their honorees. Hi, my name is Josie Anderson. I plan to attend Drury University in the fall to study architecture. My most influential teacher was Miss Freeze because she really pushed me out of my comfort zone and she taught me so many things. I would like to leave my Bill Mills Leaving a Legacy grant to the HHS Cheer Program because it had an incredible impact on my high school experience. My name is Hunter Baker and I'm going to be going to Wichita State University to study in marketing. My most influential teacher in my high school career has been Mrs. Schroeder. She has helped me all four years, helped me figure out what I want to do with my life, and just helped me fall in love with marketing. My uh, Bill Mills Leaving a Legacy grant is going to go to the marketing department down at CCC because it has helped me become the leader that I am today, and I want to give other students the same opportunities that I had. Hi, my name is Jaden Boyer. I am going to Longview for two years, and then I'm going to transfer to an undecided college to major in nursing. Uh, my most influential teacher is Miss Devenny because she has really helped me grow my confidence and she has such a warm, loving heart. I am leaving my legacy grant to NHS because it really helps recognize people who have really worked hard and who have really accomplished achievements. I'm Garrett Brown. I'm planning to attend Missouri University of Science and Technology to study computer software and computer engineering. My most influential, te influential teacher is a English teacher, Miss Squiet, because she not only offered to be the um, sponsor for our club, the Harrisonville Games Club, she's also been an amazing teacher, always made lessons fun and interesting, and has helped us 
whether it be really good students of hers or any student through tough times, difficult times. I would like to leave my Bill Mays Leaving a Legacy grant to the Harrisonville Games Club because I feel like they will need it for future plans. Hi, I'm Trevor Campbell. I plan on going to the University of Missouri next fall to study agribusiness. Uh, my most influential teacher is Coach Vinny because over the last four years, any adversity I've faced, he's been there to help me through it. Uh, I plan on leaving my Bill Mills Legacy Grant to the FFA because they have shaped who the individual I am today. Hi there, my name is Nathaniel DeVinny. I'll be attending the University of Missouri in the fall and um, majoring in biology. My favorite teacher is Miss Eckert because I've taken piano lessons from her for like the past nine years and she's always uh, stood by me. Um, I'll be leaving my legacy grant to the Harrisonville wrestling team. Um, my dad and I have been a part of that for a very long time and so it's really special to me. My name is George Fries, and I'll be attending the University of Missouri to study biochemistry and plant sciences. My agriculture teacher, Mr. D. Koff, has really inspired me and helped me throughout my entire high school career. I would like to leave my Bill Mills Leaving a Legacy grant to the uh, Cass Career Center FFA program. Hi, I'm Kaylin Holden. I'm planning to attend Missouri State University to major in nursing. My most influential teacher is a science teacher, Mrs. Kump. I had her for two years, and she was always so encouraging and made everything so interesting, and I just loved listening to her, and I learned so much. I would, I would like to leave my grant to the girls' tennis team. Um, it's full of hardworking girls who want to better themselves and their team and build the program, and I gained so much from my years playing tennis with them. Hi, my name is Walker Holden. I'm going to do a course in theology at Reformation Bible, uh, and then following that, I'm going to do UCM for music education. My most influential teacher was Mr. Norman, uh, my sixth grade English teacher. He's been a friend of my family and a mentor to myself for many years. My grant I am leaving to um, the Harrisonville Band Program because they have really fostered my love for music and they've given me an opportunity to explore all that entails uh, and plus I want to be a music educator so. Hi I'm Kara Limmer and I'll be attending Missouri State next year to major in marketing. My influential teacher is Ms. Schroeder because she has been my go-to teacher for all four years of high school. I'm leaving my grant legacy to the Bright Futures Committee at the Casker Center because of all this all the people that are in the committee have had a huge impact on me and they help everyone at that school and throughout the community. My name is Riley Matthew. I'm going to the University of Missouri and I'm majoring in marketing. I would like to give my influential teacher award to Mr. Matthew because with him being my dad, I see all the work he puts into his program outside of school and I think he has a positive impact on all of his students. Um, I would like to give my grant to the high school vocal music department because it's been a big part of my high school career and it's made a big impact on me. Hi, I'm Sayla Norman and I'm going to Southwest Baptist. I'm studying nursing and I'm minoring in music. My most influential teacher is my dad, Michael Norman. and. He, from a young age, taught me to love God, which has been really influential in my life, and he also taught me some really good English skills. <laughs> um, then my most influential department has been the hats department. Mrs. Freeze really challenged our minds and taught us to like think outside the box all the time. I'm Colleen O'Reilly. I will be attending Truman State University to study political science and international relations. My most influential teacher was my 8th grade teacher, Mr. Culpepper, because he talked about America's foundational, like the founding of America's government, and that really inspired my career path. And I'm leaving my Leaving a Legacy grant to Student Council because I've been involved in it for four years and because it's just an amazing organization that does so much for the school and the community. Hi, I'm Mary O'Reilly, and I'll be going to the University of Dallas to major in chemistry and possibly minor in music. My most influential teacher is Miss Freeze because she fostered my love for science and she taught me so much about life and just has always been there for me. And so I'm leaving my grant to the HATS program because of Mrs. Freeze's impact and everything that we got to learn through the HATS program. 
I'm Hannah Reynolds. I'm planning to attend Washburn University to study social work. My most influential teacher is Mr. McKinnis because he showed that what we learn in the classroom applies to our real lives. I'm leaving my legacy grant to NHS because it helps us give back to a community that gave so much to us. My name is James Tiemann. I plan to attend Longview Community College to study computer sciences. Um, my most influential teacher was Ms. Bristow because she's an all-around great teacher and she makes learning her lessons fun. Um, I am leaving my legacy grant to NHS to help out those students and their organization and all the things they do. I'm Kitty Truman and I plan to attend Missouri State University to study biology pre-med. Um, I chose Amy Wilson and because she taught me to be like confident and to love myself and I would like to leave the grant to the Harrisonville Winter Guard because of how they changed my life and just helped me get out of my shell. Hi, my name is Cody Waftel and I'm going to go to Longview for two years to study mechanics. The Leading a Legacy grants will be distributed in August and you can check Facebook to read more about these students' influential teachers. In addition to the excellence in academic scholarships, the foundation oversees 12 named scholarships. Some are annual gifts and others are endowments created by families in memory of loved ones. We are pleased to be presenting 18 more scholarships with a value of $28,500. The Deacon scholarships are presented through a gift to the foundation from the estate of Will Ella Deacon. Will Ella was a 1922 graduate of Harrisonville High School. We are proud to award three Deacon Scholarships in the amount of $1,000, which are renewable for second semester for another $1,000. The recipients are Elizabeth Bostick, Jaden Boyer, and Kaylin Holden. The Stephen and Virginia Childress Athletic Award is given annually to a senior Harrisonville High School student in recognition of his or her outstanding scholarship, citizenship, sportsmanship, and high athletic achievement. We are proud to present the 2021 Stephen and Virginia Childress Athletic Award in the amount of $1,500 to Kobe Norris. The Scott T. Morse Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of Scott Morse. The Scott Morse Memorial Scholarship is based on academic achievement, school or community involvement, and the recipient's determination to overcome a hardship. We are happy to present the 2021 Scott Morse Memorial Scholarship for $1,500 to Riley Smalley. The Kara Roberts Memorial Scholarship is given through gifts to the foundation in memory of Kara Roberts. She was a 1996 graduate of Harrisonville High School and a 2000 graduate of Central Missouri State University. The scholarship is given to a student who will attend the University of Central Missouri and who demonstrates a desire to make a difference in the lives of others. This year, the Kara Roberts Memorial Scholarship of $500 goes to Lene Eggers. The Bob Hodge Achievement Award is given annually to an HHS senior and is awarded in honor of Bob Hodge, a longtime Harrisonville Schools teacher, coach, and administrator. The Bob Hodge Achievement Award Endowment was established through the bequest of an anonymous Harrisonville High School alumnus. It will provide a potential scholarship of $8,000. The scholarship is based on academic achievement, acceptance at a Missouri State College or University, excellent citizenship, community involvement, and financial need. The 2021 Bob Hodge Achievement Award recipient is Riley Smalley. And now some of our generous donors are here to announce their families or organizations endowed and annual scholarship recipients. Good evening, I'm John Foster. I'm here to announce the recipient of the John and Moissa Foster Construction Trade Scholarship. Presented to a senior who is planning on studying in the field of building trades, architecture, civil engineer, or related field. The scholarship is in the amount of $500 and renewable for the second year. 
for $500. The John and Wanda Foster Construction Trade Scholarship goes to Colin Cothers. The John and Wanda Foster Agriculture Scholarship goes to a senior who has demonstrated leadership in the Cass Career Center Agriculture Program of FFA. This is also a $500 scholarship for this year and renewable for $500 the following year. This year's honoree is Trevor Campbell. My name is Tracy Sloan and I'm happy to be here tonight to present two Samuel Sloan, Evelyn Sloan, and Beulah Sloan McCoy scholarships in the amount of $2,000 each made possible by a gift to the Harrisonville Public School Foundation. These scholarships are awarded to students pursuing an ag-related field of study. This year's recipients are Trevor Campbell and Casey Bradshaw. Hello. I am Harrisonville Rotary Club President Doug Meyer. The Harrisonville Rotary Club has endowed its scholarships with the Foundation. The Rotary Club is a civic organization focused on service to our community. Our scholarships are based on a student's community service, activity involvement, and academic achievement. The scholarships are named after longtime and charter member Rotarian Wendell Yeager. This year, we are pleased to present three $500 Wendell Yeager Rotary Scholarships to Trevor Campbell, Emily Gray, and Kara Lemer. Hello, I'm Donna Fouch, and I'm pleased to present the Donna Fouch Hat Scholarship. This scholarship is actually presented when the student is an eighth grader and then awarded four years later upon high school graduation. It recognizes academic excellence, diverse interest, and a love of learning. It's my pleasure to present this scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Nathaniel Deveni. Hello, I'm Chris Grantham, principal of Harrisonville Middle School, here to hand out the Katie Rios Award. The Katie Rios Award goes to the student exemplifies brightness, cheerfulness, good attitude, hard work, and a wonderful person. Four years ago, we gave this award to David Rios, and now, as a senior, he will get his reward and his $1,000 scholarship. Good luck, David. We look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Good evening. We are Lawrence and Renee Smith, and we are here to present the Allison W. Smith Memorial Scholarship. The intent of this scholarship award in memory of our daughter, Allison Smith, is to encourage and support a senior female student athlete who strives for excellence in academics and sportsmanship a student who demonstrates passion to engage in the world through leadership and or innovative ideas to make the global and or local community better for others. Allison grew up in Harrisonville and attended Harrisonville High School. The 2021 Allison W. Smith Memorial Scholarship is for $2,000 and this year's recipient is Riley Smalley. To all of you graduates of Harrisonville High School, class of 2021, your families, friends, and loved ones, I am Dr. Rebecca Young Marquardt, and with me today is Rear Admiral, retired Chris Weaver, himself a 1967 graduate of HHS. It is our pleasure today to present the first Weaver Young Family Memorial Scholarship Award for Public Service and Governance. The full history for this award is provided in program material for this award ceremony, but I'd like to share a short background of the award. Chris's mother, Eldine, and my mother, Virginia, were best friends growing up. In Harrisonville, graduating together from HHS, they and our fathers, Jim Weaver and Jack Young, lived their lives as examples of service to others. Their lifelong commitments involved wartime military service and later in distinguished service to municipal, county, and federal governments. Their examples have inspired the Weaver and Young families, and we want to share our parents' example of service by encouraging the young people of HHS to pursue, pursue cut careers in public service and governance through this award. Chris will now introduce our award recipient. Thank you, Rebecca. 
We're delighted to have a superb young public and community servant as the first recipient of this award. She has demonstrated through outstanding academic accomplishment, leadership in school activities, and extensive community involvement that she embodies the example of service to others intended by this award. It is my distinct pleasure to present the $1,000 Weaver Young Family Memorial Scholarship Award in Public Service and Governance for 2021 to graduating senior Ms. Colleen O'Reilly. Colleen will be attending Truman State University where she will pursue studies in political science. Congratulations, Congratulations and, and good, good luck, luck Colleen. Colleen. At this time, local groups, organizations, and businesses will present their scholarships to our seniors. We truly appreciate our community support of our students and their future. Good evening, and a big congratulations to the class of 2021. I'm Jason Zaror. And I'm Vanessa Hargrave. Today, we have the honor of announcing the recipient of this year's Philip Zaror Entrepreneurial Scholarship. But before we do, just a bit about the scholarship and the man whose legacy it honors. Our dad, Philip Zaror, was really a serial entrepreneur and Renaissance man. He had many talents and achieved many things through his 67 years. But one thing that stands out is that he never lost his desire to learn new things and meet new people. His two main passions in life were his family and friends and also building successful businesses. Many right here in Harrisonville, culminating with Pressure Pro, his flagship business, still going strong today with distribution of TPMS products in over 40 countries worldwide. Yeah, and when we lost Dad in 2016, we knew we also wanted to carry on his legacies of giving back to the community and in helping mold the next generation of entrepreneurs. This scholarship, which is his namesake, we're able to do combine both, awarding a local graduate with the goal of becoming their own business owner with a progressive four-year scholarship totaling $2,500. This year, we're happy to announce Trevor Campbell as the fifth recipient of the Philip Zoror Entrepreneurial Scholarship. Trevor, your entrepreneurial spirit and your desire to establish a business here in Harrisonville would impress our father and make him proud. And we're proud that in this way, he can help spark the beginning of your next journey. Yeah, so congrats again, Trevor, and to the entire class of 2021. We can't wait to see all you accomplish. My name is Tracy Sloan. On behalf of Harrisonville Kiwanis, it's my pleasure to present four Harrisonville Kiwanis Scholarship Awards tonight uh, in the amount of $200 each. Those awards go to Hannah Bentley, Mary O'Reilly, Colleen O'Reilly, and Kyle Minshing. Good morning. My name is Terry Cox. I'm here to announce the Stacy Cox Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is named after our daughter, Stacy. It is a $1,000 scholarship that goes to a Harrisonville music student. This year, the 2021 scholarship goes to Kaylee Caldwell. Congratulations, Kaylee. Good evening. My name is Mary Dobson. I'm the president of the Peculiar Charitable Foundation. This is a philanthropic organization which was founded in 1968 by my father, Edward Shug, a lifelong resident of Cass County. It makes grants to many worthwhile projects within the county and awarding scholarships to high school seniors is one of the most rewarding aspects of all of our many grants and outreaches in the county. This spring, 28 seniors from in Cass County Public High Schools will each receive a $2,000 college scholarship. The foundation believes it is investing in the future of Cass County by awarding these scholarships. I am proud to announce these recipients from Harrisonville High School. Cara Lemmer, Colleen O'Reilly, Mary O'Reilly, and Haley Ricker. Congratulations to each of these seniors and best wishes for the future. Hello, my name is Jennifer Keel and this is my sister, Claire. The Gabby Keel Memorial Scholarship was established in 2017 anonymously in memory of our sister Gabby Keel, who took her life her junior year in high school. No one who knew Gabby realized how intensely she was struggling. She hit it well. Mental illness is a legitimate health issue and it must stop being a cause for shame. The Gabby Kill Memorial Scholarship is awarded each year in the amount of $500 to a student who explains 
how they plan to make the world a better place. This year, we present the scholarship to Sule Norman. Congrats, Congratulations. Sule Norman. Good morning. My name is Tina Graff, and I'm here on behalf of the Board of Education for the Harrisonville School District. I'm presenting a $200 scholarship to the local recipient of the MSBA John T. Belcher Memorial Scholarship. Each member district with the Missouri School Boards Association is eligible to submit one application from a high school senior. It's my privilege to announce Trevor Campbell has been selected as the local recipient by a committee of the Board of Education. Trevor's application is then submitted to the MSBA Board of Directors, who will select 16 regional winners and one statewide winner. Trevor, we're pleased to award you with this $200 scholarship. We hope this scholarship will help with your quest to further your education. Hi, I'm Susan Ripplinger with the East Lynn Teachers Association, and each year we give out scholarships to former graduates of our school. This year, I'm proud to announce that Elizabeth East and Hattie Wilson are each receiving $500 to further their studies. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nicole Gouldie, and I am the Communications and Brand Manager for Midwest Fertilizer. It is an honor to virtually join you for this special event. This past year has brought a lot of exciting change for Midwest Fertilizer, including the start of our scholarship program. Through these changes, it was important for our organization to recognize the leadership and academic excellence that keeps our rural community strong and vital. Our new scholarship program was just one way in which we can support the student leaders of today on their path to becoming tomorrow's business and community leaders. For 2021, we selected 10 students as recipients of our scholarship program. These students lived within our footprint across Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. Applicants were judged based on academic achievements, honors, leadership in school and community activities. Along with the application, students were asked to submit an essay about the value of the agricultural industry in their local community. The number of talented young men and women applying for a scholarship in the first year ever was impressive. With that being said, it is my pleasure to present a scholarship in the amount of $500 to Trevor Campbell of Harrisonville High School. Congratulations, Trevor, and best wishes to all in this year's graduating class. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lacey Dominic, and I'm a shelter insurance agent in Harrisonville, and also a proud Wildcat alum. I'm excited this year to co-sponsor the Shelter Insurance Foundation Scholarship, providing one senior a $2,000 scholarship to the accredited college or university of their choice. This year's $2,000 scholarship winner is Kara Lemmer. Congratulations, Kara, and congratulations to all the seniors, and best of luck to you in your future adventures. Hi, I'm Cynthia Randaz of the President and CEO of Cass Community Health Foundation. We want to congratulate the Harrisonville High School Class of 2021 and announce this year's scholarship recipients. Cass Community Health Foundation offers scholarships to students pursuing degrees in nursing or other healthcare careers. This year's recipients of a Cass Community Health Foundation scholarship are Elizabeth Ellsworth, Grace Kirkamo, Sela Norman, Mary O'Reilly, Hannah Reynolds, and Haley Ricker. Congratulations to all of you. We are excited for your future in healthcare. The Harrisville Police Department is honoring Officer Donald Marler, Francis Wirt, and Chandler Sumner, who were killed in the line of duty while working for the Harrisville Police Department. The Harrisville Police Department is part of our Fallen Not Forgotten Pledge has developed and funded the Marler Wirt Sumner Scholarship through voluntary donations from Harrisonville police officers, city employees, and the community members. The Marler Wirt Sumner Scholarship is an annual scholarship open to all graduating seniors of Harrisonville High School and the Cass Career Center CJ CSI program. Preference is given to those applicants pursuing a career in law enforcement Today, we continue that tradition by awarding three $1,000 scholarships. Today, Luke Griffith, Danielle Lazier, and J.C. Robertson all will receive $1,000 scholarships. Congratulations to all of you. 
and good job on all that hard work. The PEO Sisterhood is a women's organization that provides loans, grants, and scholarships for women planning to pursue a post-secondary education. In presenting this $2,500 scholarship, the members of Chapter GR in Harrisonville, Missouri are pleased to recognize our honoree who demonstrates excellence in leadership, extracurricular activities, community service, academics, and potential for success. Our PEO Star Scholarship is presented to Kaylin Holden. Congratulations. My name is Mark Rorvig, Assistant Principal at Harrisonville High School. At this time, I will be presenting the remaining local scholarships. The recipient of the Beta Sigma Phi Scholarship is Kara Limmer. The recipient of the Cass Regional Foundation Scholarship, Jan Perry, is Elizabeth Bostick. The recipient of the Cass Regional Foundation Scholarship, Francine Paris, is Haley Ricker. The Shaldeen's Community Service Scholarship is Kara Limmer. Recipient of the Daughters of the American Revolution Scholarship is Colleen O'Reilly. The recipient of the George McCleave Scholarship is Mary O'Reilly. The recipient of the Gallon Grad Award is Catherine Truman. The recipient of the Heisman Award is Elizabeth Ellsworth. The recipients of the Casey Scholars Traditional Scholarship are Elizabeth Bostick, Emily Gray, Kelsey Knowles, and Cody Waddle. Recipient of the KC Scholarship Match and Incentive Program Scholarship is Kaylee Caldwell. And the recipient of the Schmidt Vocal Arts Award Scholarship is Carolyn Schrock. Hello, I am Jason Decoff, one of the FFA advisors at the Cass Career Center. We are honored to award scholarships sponsored by local agribusinesses and families to the following individuals. Trevor Campbell was awarded the Todd's Automotive Scholarship for $250. He was awarded the Nutrient Ag Solution Scholarship for $500. The Hawthorne Bank FFA Scholarship for $250. The Jimmy L. Bartlett Scholarship for $500. The Dan Eads Memorial Scholarship for $500, the Stanley and Marjorie Gardner Scholarship that has the potential to be a $2,000 scholarship, and he also was awarded the FFA Achievement Scholarship for $1,000. Brandon Johnson was awarded the Sam Help Memorial Scholarship for $500. George Fries won a National FFA America's Farmers Grow Ag Leaders Scholarship for $1,500. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Becky Bruins, and I am representing the art department along with Megan Bathgate and Katie Thurman. And we are here to present our Outstanding Art Student Award. This year's award goes to Emily Garrido Calva. We chose Emily just because she's a very well-rounded art student. She's very hardworking, always has a smile on her face, and always willing to lend an extra hand. And we want to say a big thank you to our sponsor, Dr. Connolly. Hi, I'm Jenny Roney, and I'm presenting the Science Department Scholarship sponsored by Schroeder Chiropractic. In order to receive this scholarship, a student must have taken a variety of classes in different fields of science. This year's scholarship recipient is Hannah Bentley. Hello, I'm Josh P. Bout, the Mathematics Chair at Harrisonville High School. I am pleased to announce that Nolan Medlin will be receiving the department scholarship that is sponsored by American Family Insurance and Cameron Chinowith. Nolan has excelled in every mathematics class he has taken at the high school, including AP Stats and AP Calculus, and I wish him the best of luck in his journey after high school. I'm Lisa Moore and I'm representing the business department. Uh, our scholarship is once again sponsored about, very graciously by Dickey and Humbard. And I'm very pleased to present our war, award to someone who has been, done a great job academically in all of our classes that he's taken. Uh, he's also been very involved in FBLA, has been an officer, and has achieved greatly in uh, competitive events in district and state levels. Uh, I have no doubt that he'll be very successful in whatever business uh, career that he chooses to do. 
I'm very pleased to present our business department scholarship this year to River Riley. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Brian Bliss and I'm here representing the Communication Arts Department. The Outstanding Communication Arts Senior is Libby East. Libby has taken nearly every English class we offer at HHS. She is an amazing student and is planning to pursue an English education degree in college. Congratulations to Libby and thank you to our scholarship sponsor, Roger and Rita Benson. Good evening, my name is Eric Devinney and I am here on behalf of the Social Studies Department and Lions Club to present the Outstanding Social Studies Student of the Year. To be given the title of Outstanding Social Studies Student, the senior must have taken a rigorous social studies course load, achieved success in these courses, and have a love for social studies and the field of history. This year's recipient has met these requirements and has also taken additional social studies classes through online courses. This year's Social Studies Department Outstanding Student goes to Colleen O'Reilly. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Sharia Dawson and I'm here representing the Foreign Language Department. The Outstanding German Language Senior is Julia Abernathy. Julia, Julia, has shown an outstanding attitude, is a helpful classmate, and has embraced learning the German language this year. Congratulations to Julia and thank you to our scholarship sponsor, the Harrisonville Lions Club. I'm Jay Cole and I teach WCN and coordinate the AV team for sports and activities for the district. ABCO has graciously sponsored a scholarship for the top senior in the program. I only have two seniors, so it was very difficult to choose one. ABCO said, I don't have to. Therefore, the award goes to both Sayla Norman and Riley Seabolt. Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is Shannon Lineberry and I am the yearbook advisor for Harrisonville High School. And I'd like to present a scholarship that is sponsored by the Southcast Tribune in honor of a student who has um, shown over the years a outstanding work ethic and a continued desire to support and help her fellow students in your book. Um, it's my pleasure to award the following scholarship on behalf of the journalism department to Grace Kirkamo. Grace, I'm so proud of you. I think you're going to do great in whatever you do. Congratulations. All right. Hi, I'm Kyle Crutchfield. I'm representing the drama department. And uh, today I'd like to announce the outstanding senior um, as sponsored by Hawthorne Bank. Um, the recipient of this award uh, did everything she could to make sure that the drama department stayed alive at, at Harrisonville High School this year. And so, uh, she stepped in in so many ways, like helping uh, direct our first show, act in all of our shows, step in last minute for a musical that it is known she does not do musicals. Um, but she did, and it was great. And so, without further ado, she's done everything under the sun for the drama department this year. Breezy Simler. Hello, my name is Mr. Johnson. I'm the band director. I'm here to present the band departmental scholarship that's sponsored by the Lions Club. This year that award goes to Mary O'Reilly. Good evening. My name is Kit Matthew. I'm the vocal music director at Harrisonville High School. Our outstanding senior vocalist is sponsored by Family Center, the award, and we're so excited to hand it to a young lady who has been a perennial uh, gold medal winner for the vocal music department and this year was a member of the 2020-21 Missouri All-State Choir. Uh, this year's senior, outstanding senior vocalist is Carolyn Schrock. Hola, my name is Senora Hake, and this year we are offering the World Language Department Scholarship to Miss Colleen O'Reilly. Colleen is in level four of Spanish and she has been exemplary throughout her course of study. Um, she is planning on going into public service and so knowing a second language will be immensely helpful, helpful for her. So we hope that she will continue on um, with her learning and exploring of multiple languages. So congratulations, Colleen. I'm so excited for you. I am Jake Cole and I am announcing the top senior for the Project Lead the Way Pre-Engineering Department. This award is sponsored by mentor Jack Johnson from the donations of his Christmas light display. We have several students that have completed three courses for Project Lead the Way, but only one senior had that has completed four of them. That student is the winner of this year's Project Lead the Way. His name is Virgil Shattuck. 
Hello, my name is Jeannie Waring. I am the student council sponsor at Harrisonville High School. I'm here to present the scholarship for student council given by an anonymous donor. This year's recipient is Colina Riley, who's been the executive student body president this past year and been incredibly engaged and active in student council for the past four years. We wouldn't have been able to pull off the most amazing senior citizen banquets, the most wonderful homecomings, the most awesome children's Christmas parties, all of the leadership activities here at the high school. Colleen has been crucial in completing, and I'm very thankful to have had her at this school and as a student leader. Congratulations, Colleen. My name is Mark Rorvig, one of the assistant principals at Harrison Mill High School. At this time, we'd like to recognize a special group, those enlisting in the military. This year, we have two students enlisting, both in the Marines. They are Preston Anderson and Logan Ruby. Hi, I'm Coach Maxwell, the activities and athletic director for the Harrisonville School District. Uh, each year, I have the privilege to announce those students from this year's graduating class that have not only excelled academically in the classroom, but have also been identified for their talents in co-curricular or extracurricular activities and athletics. The following students have been awarded partial or full scholarships from their respective colleges and universities next year. Emily Garrido Calva, Avila University Women's Wrestling. Hunter Ferguson, Central Methodist University Baseball. Haley Ricker, Central Methodist University, softball. Nani Justice, Iowa Wesleyan University, women's wrestling. Connor Blixt, Metropolitan Community College, cross country. Brooks Langer, Mid-American Nazarene University, men's basketball. Monty Schroeder, Monmouth College, men's soccer. Brooke Miller, Northwestern Oklahoma University, Volleyball. Kobe Norris, Rockhurst University, Men's Soccer. Sayla Norman, Southwest Baptist University, Music Performance. Braden Talley, University of Central Missouri, Men's Wrestling. Riley Matthew, University of Missouri, of Columbia, Dance Team. Tommy Baker, University of St. Mary's, Cross Country, and Carolyn Schrock, William Jewell College, Choral Performance. Congratulations. Josie Anderson, Drury University, earning the Presidential Scholarship. Tommy Baker, attending the University of St. Mary's, earning the Trustees Scholarship. Hunter Baker, attending Wichita State University, earning the Denny Heskett Business Scholarship, the Presidential Merit Scholarship, and the Casey Alumni Scholarship. Nathan Barnett, attending Centric Training, earning the Centric Scholarship. Hannah Bentley, attending the University of Central Missouri, earning the Red and Black Scholarship and the A-plus Recognition Scholarship. Elizabeth Bostick, attending the University of Missouri-Columbia, earning the Mizzou Excellence Award and the Access Missouri Grant. Trevor Campbell, attending the University of Missouri-Columbia, earning the Mizzou Excellence Scholarship. Lillian Capon, attending the University of Kansas, earning the Crimson and Blue Scholarship and the Sealards Scholarship. Colin Carruthers, attending the University of Central Missouri, earning the Red and Black Scholarship. Noah Collins, attending the, the Pittsburgh State University, earning the Academic Excellence Scholarship. Elizabeth East, attending the University of Central Missouri, earning the Red and Black Scholarship. Lene Eggers, attending the University of Central Missouri, earning the Red and Black Scholarship and the A-plus Recognition Scholarship. Hunter Ferguson, attending Central Methodist University, earning the Academic Scholarship. George Fries, attending the University of Missouri-Columbia, earning the Mizzou Scholars Award, the Mizzou CAFNR Scholarship, the Mizzou CAFNR Stamp Scholarship, and the Mizzou and Strive 
Foundation Scholarship. Kaylin Holden, attending Missouri State University, earning the Board of Governors Scholarship. Grace Kirkamo, attending Olivet Nazarene University, earning the Leadership Scholarship, the Visit Grant, and the Pastor's Children's Scholarship. Kelsey Knowles, attending the University of Missouri Columbia, earning the Mizzou KC Scholars Match Scholarship, the Expected Education Scholarship, and the Warm Access Grant. Carol Lemmer, attending Missouri State University, earning the Promise Scholarship and the Missouri Access Scholarship. Riley Matthew, attending the University of Missouri Columbia, earning the Mizzou Excellence Scholarship. Madeline McGee, attending Lindenwood University, earning the Academic Merit Award. Mallory Murray, attending the University of Central Missouri, earning the Red and Black Scholarship and the A-plus Recognition Scholarship. Catherine Truman, attending, the, attending Missouri State University, earning the Dean Scholarship. Sayla Norman, attending Southwest Baptist University with the Presidential Distinguished Scholars Award and the Dutile Scholars Award. Kobe Norris, attending Rockhurst University with the Knapp Scholarship, the Hawk Fund Scholarship, and the Bell Tower Grant. Colleen O'Reilly, attending Truman State University with the True Merit Scholarship, the President's Leadership Scholarship, Live Learn Lead Scholarship, Girls State Scholarship, and the A-plus Recognition Scholarship. Mary O'Reilly, attending the University of Dallas with the Chemistry Departmental Scholarship, the Trustee Scholarship, and the John B. O'Hara Chemical Science Institute Summer Program. Haley Ricker, attending Central Methodist University with the Dean Scholarship and the Legacy Grant. Madeline Ritter, attending Missouri State University with the Academic Distinction Scholarship and the Promise Scholarship. Carolyn Schrock, attending William Jewell College with the KC Metro Award. Monty Schroeder, attending Monmouth University with the Dean's Scholarship. Hannah Scott, attending Missouri State University with the Academic Distinction Scholarship. Brianna Simler, attending Missouri State University with the Governor's Merit Scholarship and the Housing Scholarship. Riley Smalley, attending Missouri Southern State University with the Premium Scholarship. Ashton Strong, attending the University of Central Missouri with the Red and Black Scholarship. Emily Sullivan, attending Missouri Southern State University with the Show Me MOSO Scholarship. Braden Talley, attending the University of Central Missouri with the Red and Black Scholarship and the A-plus Recognition Scholarship. Jacob Ward, attending Missouri State University with the Dean's Scholarship. Hattie Wilson, attending Northwest Missouri State University with the Missouri Access Grant, the A-plus Recognition Scholarship, the University Scholar Scholarship, the Green Grant, and the Adopt a Bearcat Scholarship. Good evening, I'm Jason Farnsworth, Assistant Principal at Harrisonville High School, and I'm here to announce the seniors who have completed all of the requirements for the A-plus scholarship. Julia Abernathy, Jacob Allen, Josie Anderson, Hannah Arnold, Kennedy Atkinson, Brandy Atwell, Brian Baker, Hunter Baker, Devin Bales, Chase Barkhurst, Hannah Bentley, Raven Bertrand, Brina Blackburn, Connor Blixt, Noah Borland, Jaden Boyer, Casey Bradshaw, Ian Briggs, Garrett Brown, Kaylee Caldwell, Haley Callahan, Corbin Callison, Trevor Campbell, Colin Carruthers, Sean Carruthers, Callista Claiborne, Shane Coffey, Noah Collins, Nathaniel Deveni, Lacey Dunsworth, Lene Eggers, Elizabeth Ellsworth, Serenity Estes, Mason Evans, Hunter Ferguson, Travis Fields, Mason Gaddy, Brian Garlock, Emily Garrido Calva, Stephanie Gillum, Camille Jennings, Luke Griffith, Corbin Hall, Cole Hart, Walker Holden, Haley Howard, Brandon Johnson, Hudson Johnson, Hunter Johnson, Nani Justice, Grace Kirkmo, Brooks Langer, Danielle Lazier, Dalton Lawson, Carol Lemmer, 
Sawyer Lunding, Arison Maxwell, Sydney Maxwell, Egypt Mays, Isabel McCune, Madeline McGee, Brooke Miller, Quentin Moore, Mackenzie Morrow, Ethan Murray, Mallory Murray, Dylan Wynn, Salem Norman, Jacob Norris, Kobe Norris, Colleen O'Reilly, Austin Pierce, Jace Percival, Mallory Powers, Hannah Reynolds, Enoch Rice, Haley Ricker, River Riley, Manuel Rios, Madeline Ritter, Serenity Rogers, Jackson Ryman, Alyssa Schick, Carolyn Schrock, Gianna Schrock, Monty Schroeder, Hannah Scott, Riley Seabolt, Brianna Simler, Cameron Setzer, Virgil Shaddix, Macy Shoemaker, Riley Smalley, Olivia Smith, Matthew Stacy, Hagen Stevenson, Emily Sullivan, Braden Talley, James Teeman, Olivia Tribble, Catherine Truman, Caitlin Vandendale, Jacob Ward, Joseph Wardlow, Cody Waftel, Skylar White, Alyssa Wilson, Hattie Wilson, Dylan Wright, and Kylie Wyatt. Congratulations, seniors, and best of luck to you. At this time, I'd like to introduce seniors who have received a 30 or higher on the ACT test during their high school career. Those students are Jacob Allen, Hunter Baker, George Fries, Kaylin Holden, Walker Holden, Colleen O'Reilly, Mary O'Reilly, and Sayla Norman. Congratulations. We'd now like to recognize the students who have earned the Bright Flight Scholarships for a monetary award of $15,000 over five years if the student decides to attend a participating school. This is for those students who scored a 31 or above on the ACT College Admissions Test. The ACT is comprised of four tests, English, Reading, Math, and Science. The national average score on the test is 21.1 and the maximum is 36. Students who scored 31 and higher are in the top 3% in the nation. I'm sure you'll agree this is quite an achievement. This year's recipients of the Bright Flight are George Fries, Sayla Norman, and Colleen O'Reilly. Congratulations. It is my pleasure on behalf of the Academic Booster Club to recognize students who have earned a cumulative GPA of 4.0 or higher during their high school career. These graduates will be presented with a gold cord for their esteemed honor. Those students are Jacob Allen, Josie Anderson, Hunter Baker, Jaden Boyer, Garrett Brown, Trevor Campbell, Nathaniel Devinney, George Fries, Kaylin Holden, Walker Holden, Kara Lemer, Riley Matthew, Sayla Norman, Colleen O'Reilly, Mary O'Reilly, Hannah Reynolds, Riley Smalley, James Teeman, Catherine Truman, and Cody Waddle. It's appropriate at this time to thank those who made this day possible for each of these students. Those who pulled wake up duty in the mornings, made you do your homework, drove you to practices and competitions, and those who were by your side through it all with words of encouragement. I say to you on behalf of the seniors, thank you. Thank you parents, grandparents, and family members. Thank you for supporting these seniors on their journey. Your support has resulted in the following. The senior class of 2021 has received $2,232,895 in scholarships and $1,318,680 in A-plus money for a grand total of $3,551,575. Seniors and soon-to-be graduates, we are very proud of each of you and congratulate you on the success of your high school careers. That concludes the ceremony. We thank you for joining us this evening.